Welcome to the Cancer Interviews Podcast. If this is your first time joining us, we'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and let you know that you and what you're going through are the sole purpose of this podcast. We look forward to bringing you interviews with amazing people who've also experienced cancer in their own lives, and we look forward to sharing the cancer journey together. Being able to give back and contribute in a meaningful way to others facing cancer has been a dream of mine for many years after battling Hodgkin lymphoma cancer twice. I soon realized I needed help from others to really make this dream come true. That's why I invited Bruce Morton, a prostate cancer survivor and longtime friend of mine to join me, along with my wife, Suzanne Foster, who was my caregiver during my second cancer journey, to join me as co-hosts of the Cancer Interviews podcast. Thank you both for being here today. And Suzanne, why don't you take a moment to tell us a little bit about yourself prior to becoming a caregiver? Hi, I am Suzanne Foster, and I currently live in Golden, Colorado with Jim. I was born here in Denver, Colorado, lived a short while in New Mexico as a child and learned to love to ride horses at that point in time and came back to Colorado where we still enjoy horses and we go to our land in Wyoming, kind of a recreational activity. Um, I worked for Jefferson County as a paralegal and in the past I was in social work for 10 years. Now I'm going to introduce our next team member, Bruce Morton. Hi, my name is Bruce Morton. I'm a native of Castro Valley, California, which is in the San Francisco Bay Area. In pursuit of a radio career, I have lived all over the country and was living in Hackensack, New Jersey and working in New York City in the year 2000 when I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. In 2001, I moved to Denver, Colorado, where I've been ever since. Now it's my pleasure to bring on the founder of Cancer Interviews, Jim Foster. Thanks, Bruce. And now we'd each like to share a little bit of our background and how we all ended up being co-hosts here on the Cancer Interviews podcast. My journey began back in 1995 after rafting the Grand Canyon with my friend Jim Merle. And shortly after returning home Denver, I fell down at work face first, ending me up in the hospital. And uh, the doctors couldn't seem to figure out what was wrong with me. Um, I spent time in several different hospitals, even flew to a a well-known clinic in Minnesota, uh, where I still wasn't accurately diagnosed until 14 months later, uh, when a doctor that was covering for the weekend uh, saw my eyes dilate unusually and called for some additional tests that I had had never had before. Um, The original diagnosis was stiff person syndrome, which is extremely rare, and it is Uh, was unknown at that time what a possible cause of that might be. After uh, 14 months later, after getting a biopsy of a lymph node in my neck, it was determined that I had Hodgkin lymphoma cancer stage 3B. And at that point, I became a a cancer patient and underwent six months of chemotherapy. And... uh, After that, a scan showed that my cancer uh, was clear and I was determined to be in remission. I was very thankful at that point and and kind of went on with my life. Uh, Later that year, I met uh, my wife, Suzanne, and we got married in 1999. And in early 2002, she became pregnant and we were really excited about having a, a, a baby. And a couple months after that, a lump appeared in my neck, and I went back in to get it biopsied. Uh, came back that uh, it, uh, that my cancer had returned, and at that time, I went uh, through additional chemotherapy and an autologous stem cell transplant and high dose chemotherapy regimen. And prior to our daughter being born, I was determined to be in remission again and uh, have been ever since 2002. Uh, So it's been a long time coming, but ever since uh, the first cancer journey and then the the second journey, I really wanted to find a way to give back to others that were going through uh, uh, a cancer diagnosis and uh, their families to to help them uh, in some way. So I'm very grateful to have the opportunity now with my friend Bruce and my wife Suzanne to 
uh, try and bring valuable information and informative information to you uh, that hopefully in some small way may help you with your cancer journey. So uh, without any further ado, um, I'll turn it over to my co-host Bruce Morton and um, thank you. Thanks, Jim. As mentioned earlier, my days in radio took me on quite an odyssey. I went from Reno, Nevada, to Reedsville, North Carolina, to Newport, Vermont, to Berlin, New Hampshire, to Boise, Idaho, to Eugene, Oregon. And then in 1984, I got my big break when I got a job with the ABC Radio Network as a producer and reporter for ABC Radio Sports. When I was in New York, I was pretty healthy. I was a competitive runner. I was averaging around six and a half minutes a mile and thought I was in good health in the year 2000 when I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. That was in December. In February of 2001, I underwent brachytherapy and I'm happy to report I have been cancer free ever since. But I gotta tell you, I would have loved it had there been a site like Cancer Interviews around at the time I was diagnosed. I sought expertise from multiple healthcare professionals, but I would have loved to have heard the story of different people's cancer journeys, just regular people talking in regular terms. That's why we're here, and uh, this is why I want to be a part of uh, the uh, Cancer Interviews experience. Jim, that's my story, and that's why I want to be a part of Cancer Interviews. Well, thanks, Bruce, and we're sure excited to have you be part of the team. Suzanne, what can you tell us about your desire to be part of the Cancer Interviews team? Well, I'm really excited to be part of this team just to share what my journey was as being a caretaker, um, some of the, the situations that I went through and what I can offer to other people, whether it's advice or support. Um, I just have to say that at any time, you can become a caretaker unexpectedly for somebody. And it was kind of a long road for me, and, and thank goodness we're doing well now, but I was pregnant at the time when Jim became became sick with cancer for the second time, and it was a, it was a long journey for sure. I just know that there's a lot of assistance out there, whether it's emotionally, physically, um, through the healthcare system, system, and just places that you can go. And I like to tap into resources and share resources with people. And I'm just hoping that I can, in some way, somehow be of help to somebody who's gone through the same situation that I have gone through. And back to you, Jim. Well, thank you, Suzanne. We're sure excited to have you be a part of the team. On behalf of Suzanne and Bruce, thank you for joining us. We look forward to bringing you many interesting and informative interviews in the future and the opportunity to share the journey together with you. Please remember that you're not alone. We're all a part of a team and together everyone achieves more. We wish you the best possible outcome with your cancer journey. And until next time, take care and we'll see you down the road. Thanks for joining us today. For more information, please visit us online at cancerinterviews.com. We appreciate you tuning in, and we'll see you back here again next time on the Cancer Interviews Podcast.